When I was 11 or 12 years old, I went to the Metropolitan Museum of Art for the first time in New York City. And um, they have this Egyptian temple called the Temple of Dender set up in this enormous room, and I became obsessed with it. And my interest in archaeology took off from there. I always liked history, but um, in time I figured out that I'm more of a practical person, so I decided to do archaeology instead. Archaeology is something that I've always been interested in um, ever since I can remember. So I chose my A level subjects with the thought of doing a BA in history and archaeology. Um, not, I'm not exactly sure when my interest in archaeology began. I've all, pretty much always watched Time Team and other archaeological programs, and I've always enjoyed history at school. So it seemed like a, a logical choice when I went to university. Well, I did look up quite a lot of them to to see which one would be best for me, and I think this one was good because um, a lot of the people were students or like people who were all just learning here for the experience. I chose to come to Thornton Abbey because I just developed a huge interest in medieval art and architecture and archaeology, and I was looking for a field school that would take place at a medieval site. Um, and Thorn Abbey is this uh, beautiful monastic site. I chose to come to Thornton Abbey to help with my research because I'm interested in material culture from monastic sites from the medieval period. I came to work here because I worked here last year and had such a great time. essential for my future in archaeology because it's my first excavation uh, so it's really given me a great foundation of knowledge to go into my master's degree with and eventually I would like to be a professional archaeologist. Uh, this opportunity uh, will help me in the future because I've learned a lot about um, how to actually run and manage a field excavation. Um, the things I've learned here are going to be very useful to me Um, well, because I want to do history and archaeology at joint honours, it's obviously got a really strong link. Um, and before I applied to uni, I just wanted to see if it's definitely right for me, because you just want to get an experience of what you want to do, and this seemed like a really good opportunity. Well, the best part of my experience was um, the fact that I did everything, like from physical labour as a medic to I enjoyed very much the archaeology, but especially the social life in the evenings. It's been fine, lots of fun. Uh, I really enjoyed my time here at Thornton Abbey. Uh, one of the best things for me was being given the opportunity to supervise my own trench uh, and play a part in the excavation. Um, I've also really enjoyed uh, getting to grips with all the new technology that we're using on this excavation. Um, and seeing how all sorts of new innovations can be used in uh, making archaeology better. I think what I've learned most from Thornton is that archaeology can be really quite fun as well as interesting and useful. Yes. Um, I really liked the independence they give you while you're digging. They kind of give you your own patch and then you just work on it. And I like how if you stay on a patch for one day you can really see it develop and then when you stand up and you get out of your site at the end, you look down you can see how the whole site's developed and it's really cool. Uh, I think my favourite part of the project is uh, the move away from the commercial rescue archaeology side of things into a more research-led um, environment. So taking the time to actually be able to think about what's been done in how to do it all stratigraphically, as well as using a single content recording system. Um, I've enjoyed everything that I've been learning here so far. Everything's new for me, so I'm excited to learn it all. Um, really everything from total station resistivity to even trawling. I really like trawling. <laughs>